Hello and welcome back again coffee beans. This is agricultural processing, handling and storage. Definition of terms. Part 1. Abrasive polisher. A whitening machine used to remove the bran from the paddy kernel. Using abrasive action between the kernel and the emery stone. Absorption. Net. The amount of preservative retained in the wood immediately after completion of the treating operation. Absorption refrigeration. Is a heat operated unit. Which uses a refrigerant that. Is alternately absorbed and liberated by the absorbent. Absorptivity of a surface, is the ratio of rate at which a given surface absorbs radiation to the rate of radiation of a black body at the same temperature. Absorption, the adherence of dissolved, colloidal of finely divided solids on the surfaces of solid bodies with which they are brought into contact. Aeration, the moving of air through stored grain at low airflow rates generally between 0.0728 cubic meters per minute per ton, for purposes other than drying. To maintain or improve its quality. A process of causing intimate contact between air and a liquid by one or more of the following methods, spraying the liquid in the air, bubbling air through the liquid, and agitating the liquid to promote absorption of oxygen through the air-liquid interface. Agitation, the turbulent mixing of liquid and solids. Airflow meter, an instrument for measuring the flow rate of air, usually in liters per minute or cubic per minute. Airflow rate, the flow rate of air, expressed in volume per relevant unit cubic meter per second. Cubic meter per tree cubic foot per minute, the volume of air delivered to the grain mass per unit time. Angle of repose, the acute angle formed between a horizontal surface and the slope of a pile of granules at equilibrium after being poured from a fixed overhead point. Application rate of many granular applicators varies inversely with the angle of repose. Anisotropy, refers to the characteristics of exhibiting different properties when tested in different directions, as tensile strength with the grain, or, across the grain. Antidynamic tube, a vertical conduit, generally at the center of a bin, with the bottom of the tube placed directly over an orifice through which grain can be unloaded. Aperture size, dimension defining an opening, aspirator, cleaner that uses air to separate lower density material from the product. Aspiration, a process of cleaning by moving large volumes of air through a thin layer of grain. To separate the particles lighter in weight than the grain itself. Auger, a conveyor with screw type flighting in a tubular shaped enclosure with auxiliary accessories. To be usable in conveying recommended materials by rotating the flighting in relation to the enclosure, helical screw type device used to convey materials. Auger conveyor, a rotating screw, usually in a trough or cylindrical tube used to move free flowing materials. Auger feed handling system, an organzied group of equipment for conveying and distributing feed using augers. Axial or other rotary separating grates. The rear or final portion of these grates are designed to separate grain from the material other than grain. Back angle, the angle between an element of the back cone and the plane of rotation. Back cone, the angle of a cone whose elements are tangent to a sphere containing a trace of a pitch circle. Back cone distance, the distance along an element of the back cone from the apex to the pitch circle. Bag storage, storing of paddy or other produce in bags, usually made of jute gunny or polyethylene. Batch type, mechanical grain dryer. A mechanical grain dryer wherein the grain is fixed volume is held in the drying chamber in batches until the grain reaches the desired moisture content, a type of mechanical dryer wherein grains are placed in a drying bin and hot air is forced through the stationary grain mass until the desired moisture level is reached. Bin. A container with a height to diameter ratio greater than 0.5. Bin diameter. The diameter of the bin measured from the center line of neutral axis of the corrugated sidewalls. Or the inside diameter of a smooth walled bin. Blinding. Obstruction of the apertures of a sieving medium by particles of material being sieved. Blower. A low-pressure air pump. Usually of one rotary or centrifugal type, a device for producing a movement of air often referred to as a fan. Blower loss. Ratio of the weight of grains blown with the chaff by the thresher fan. To the weight of the total grain input in the thresher. Expressed in percent. Board and gauge. Consists essentially of a curved tube. Fixed at open end used to measure pressure. Bran. Outer layer of the brown rice consisting of the alerone cells covering the endosperm of the rice grain. Bran removal. Removing all parts of the bran layer from the grain to produce polished rice. Brass sheets. Come in variety of sizes and gauges. The width varies from 12 to 36 inches. And the length from 96 to 120 inches. The gauge is measured by the B and S system. Brewers. Are small pieces of particles of grains that pass through a sieve having round perforations 1.4 millimeters in diameter. This is also known as binlid, or chips. Brewer's rice binlid. Small pieces are particles of grains that pass through a sieve having round perforations of 1.4 millimeters in diameter. Brokens. Are pieces of grains smaller than 8 tenths of the average length of the unbroken grain. Broken. Grain. 
piece of rice kernel that are less than three quarters the size of the full kernel. Broken out section. Partial section on an exterior view to show an interior detail without a full section. Broken rice. This is milled rice whose size ranges less than three quarters to one quarter of a whole grain. Brown rice. Dehold patty, husk, hull removed with the bran layer still intact. Brushed screen, roller press. A rectangular container with four vertical sides and a bottom consisting of two half cylindrical screens lying side by side which provide two stages of separation. Buffer stock. Amount of stored commodities adequate to meet the demand for a certain period of time in case of emergency, that is low production. Late harvest. Or calamity. It can be used to stabilize prices of commodities. Bulk or bin storage. Storing of patty or rice in loose form in a large solid container. Without the use of bags. Bulk density. Ratio of granular material mass to unit of volume kilogram per cubic meter. Pound per cubic foot. The mass of dry soil per unit bulk volume. Bulking agent. Material. Usually carbonaceous such as sawdust or wood chips. Added to a compost system to maintain airflow by preventing settlement and compaction of the waste. Bull milk tank. Sanitary container used to cool and or store milk. Bunker. Horizontal. Silo. A storage facility for silage with the floor at ground level and walls on two or three sides to retain silage material with is compacted with a tractor or other heavy vehicle. Burlap. Coarse cloth made of jute. Flax or hemp. Byproduct recovery. Ratio of the weight of byproducts. To the total weight of corn kernel input. Expressed in percent. Capacity. The rate of flow of liquid measure per unit of time. Usually gallons per minute, GPM, or liters per minute, LPM. Carnot refrigeration cycle. Transfers energy from a low-level temperature to a high-level temperature. Requiring an additional external work for its operation. Casing. The outer enclosure surrounding the entire heat exchanger and confining the air being heated. Centrifuge. A device with a rapidly rotating bowl which separates the impurities of the fluid by intense centrifugal force. It is one of the most efficient means known for purifying fuel and lubricating oils. Centrifugal blower. Air moving device constructed with many blades located on a cylindrical frame which is mounted so the blades are parallel to the axis of rotation. Centrifugal compressor. A non positive displacement compressor which depends for pressure rise in part on centrifugal forces. Centrifugal pump. Pump consisting of rotating vanes, impeller, enclosed in a housing and used to impart energy to a fluid through centrifugal force. In agri machinery. A pump using the centrifugal force produced by a rapidly rotating impeller to displace liquid. In soil and water, type of pump with impellers rotating inside a closed casing which draws water into the pump through a central inlet opening and forces water out through a discharge outlet at the periphery of the housing by means of centrifugal force. Centrifugal type, is the most advanced milling machine that works on the principle of centrifugal force and impact. Chalky grain, kernels of grain which have some portions as opaque or milky white in color. Chalky kernels, these are milled rice with white or chalky portions. Charcoal briquette. Consists of ground charcoal fines lumped and molded firmly together by suitable binders through the application of pressure. Charcoaling cycle. Encompasses all the series of procedures in the manufacture of charcoal. It includes charging or loading of the wood into the charcoaling chamber. Carbonization of the wood. Cooling of charcoal and discharging or unloading. Charcoal recovery. It is the amount or volume of lump charcoal actually produced from raw wood after the carbonization or cooking process. The rest are either volatilized or turned into ashes. Charcoal recovery is generally expressed in percent. Charge. A test sample. Or part of a test sample. Placed on a test sieve or a nest of test sieves. Charge. A lengthwise separation of the wood that usually extends across the rings of annual growth and parallel to the wood rays. Resulting from drying stresses. Charge. Batch of wood loaded into the charcoaling for carbonization or cooking into charcoal. Charging. Discharging door. Refers to the door of earthen charcoal kilns where wood and charcoal are loaded and unloaded respectively during charcoaling. Chest freezer. A small freezer in which access is gained by raising a lid. Chilling. Cooling. The lowering of the temperature of a substance to a specific temperature above freezing. Chilling room. A refrigerated room to chill a product without freezing it. Chip ice. Ice in thin flakes. Circulating watering system. Watering system in which unconsumed water is circulated continuously to prevent freezing. Classification. Designation that identifies that the oil source and production procedure. Clean shelled kernel. Shelled kernel free from foreign matter. Clean threshed grain. Threshed grain with 100% purity exclusive of the empty grains and other impurities. Clearance height of unloader. The vertical distance from the plane on which the combine is standing to a point on the underside of the unloader located at a horizontal distance. Clear ice. Block ice obtained by agitating the water during freezing and subsequently removing by suction the core of unfrozen water where impurities are concentrated. Closed loop cooling tower. 
water conserving cooling tower system in which water used for cooling is recycled through a piping system that cools the water, the water is cooled as air exchanges heat with the pipes. Coefficient of hulling, measure of the ability of the machine to remove the hulls. Coefficient of husking, the ratio of the mass of brown rice to the total mass of paddy input to the husker. Coefficient of thermal capacity, is the amount of heat added to or subtracted from a substance when unit weight of the material changes 1 degree in temperature. Coefficient of performance, refers to the ratio of useful refrigeration, or refrigerating effect to the network, or work of compression. Coefficient of wholeness, the ratio of the mass of head brown rice grain to the total mass of brown rice, head broken, produced by the husker. Cold room, an insulated structure served by a refrigeration system. Cold storage, the trade or process of preserving perishables by refrigeration. Compartment type separator, a type of paddy separator that makes use of the difference in specific gravity and buoyancy of the paddy grains and brown rice. Compressor, a device for mechanically increasing the pressure of a gas, a mechanical device to pump air and thereby increase the pressure. Concurrent flow type dryer, continuous flow dryer wherein the product being dried moves in the same direction as drying air. Condensation, the change of state of a vapor into a liquid by extracting heat from the vapor. Condensed milk, is a concentrated milk to which sugar has been added. It has 27% water, 8.1% protein, 54.8% lactose, and 1.7% minerals. Condenser, a vessel or arrangement of pipe or tubing that liquefies vapor by removal of heat. Condensing pressure, the pressure of a gas or vapor at which it condenses. Condensing temperature, the temperature of a fluid at which condensation occurs. Condensing unit, an assembly of refrigerating compressor. Receiver, condenser and necessary accessories attached to one base. Conditioning, rewetting of dried corn kernels to about 18% to 22% moisture content and tempering it to make the pericarp and the germ more pliable and easier to remove. Conditioning, refers to the preliminary treatment of unseasoned or partially seasoned timber to reduce its moisture content and improve its absorptive properties. Conduction, is the transmission of heat molecular vibration from one part of the body to another or from one body to another body in direct contact with it, transmission through or by means of a conductor. Distinguished in the case of heat from convection to radiation. Kano type rice mill, it is technically known as the under runner disc which consists of two horizontal cast iron discs partly coated with an abrasive layer. The top disc is fixed in the frame housing while the bottom disc rotates. This mill is equipped with a vertical cone-shaped polisher. Constant rate period. Drying takes place from the surface of the grain. For example similar to evaporation of moisture from a free water surface. The magnitude of the rate of drying during this period is dependent upon, at the area exposed. B. Difference in humidity between air stream and wet surface. C. The coefficient of mass transfer. And D. Velocity of the drying air. Contact freezer. A freezer in which the product is frozen by contact with a refrigerated surface. Container. Any form of packaging material which completely or partially enclose the food, including wrappers. Continuous flow. A system of composting in which material is continuously added to the composting process and the end product is continuously removed, often used for large operations. Continuous flow dryer. A dryer in which the grain is moved continuously or periodically through the drying chamber towards the dryer outlet while the moist grain is being fed into it. Dryer in which the material being dried moves through the drying chamber in a substantially continuous stream and is discharged without being recirculated. Control. Any component of dryer, or dryer heat source, so designed to affect or limit to any normal or abnormal condition of the drying operation. A device which will control the operation of a powered unit. Attachment. Accessory or any specific operating function thereof. Convection, is the transfer of heat between fluid and a surface by the circulation or mixing of the fluid. Convection, transference of heat or electricity by moving masses of matter, as by currents and gases and liquids caused by differences in density, or by electrically charged particles across a spark gap. Conveying equipment, equipment used to move granular materials from one place to another by mechanical means. Cool down period. The period following suberization when potato temperatures are reduced to desired holding temperatures. Cooling. Generally, the removal of heat from the interior of the building. Cooling air. Air cooled to lower the temperature of a space or product stored in a space. Cooling air temperature. The mean temperature of the air to be used for cooling the grain. Measured at number of points closest to its entry to the grain bed. Cooling and dehumidification. Results in a reduction of both the dry bulb temperature and the humidity ratio. Cooling coil, a coil which can either be used as direct expansion evaporator or be fed with chilled water or another cooling medium. Cooling load, contributing sources of load, transmission through walls, ceiling, floors, doors, ducts, and pipes, radiation and conduction.
occupants, electrical equipment, infiltration, ventilation, latent load and other essential to a careful design of the refrigeration system. Cooling period. The specific period during which ambient or cooled air is passed through the drying chamber or tempering beam immediately after drying to lower the temperature of the partially dried grain and to avoid moisture condensation in the grain mass. Cooling stage. The time required to move a cooling zone entirely through a product mass. Cooling tower. A structure over which water is circulated to cool the water by evaporating a portion of the water in contact with air. Cooling tower makeup. Water added to the recirculating cooling tower water stream to compensate for water evaporation losses. Cooling water. Water typically used to cool heat generating equipment or to condense gases in a thermodynamic cycle. Cooling water blowdown. Procedure used to reduce total dissolved solids by removing a portion of poor quality recirculating water. Cooling water drift. Unevaporated water carried out of a cooling tower by the airflow, it has the same composition as the recirculating water. Cooling water evaporation. Cooling water recycling approach in which water loses heat when a portion of it is evaporated. Corn grits. Milled corn kernels where the outer covering and germs have been removed and with particle size of not less than 0.86 mm. Corn husker sheller. Machine used to remove the husk of corn ear. Detach. Separate and clean the corn kernels from the cobs in one operation. Corn mill. Equipment used to produce corn grits using the dry milling process. Counter flow type dryer. Continuous flow dryer wherein the flow of air is transverse to the direction of flow of the grain being dried. Cracked grain. Grains, which show signs of fissures or fractures or splinters, had rice with visible cracks. Especially when viewed under a magnifying lens against a diffused backlight through a translucent glass plate. Cracked kernels. Kernels which show signs of fissures or fractures or splinters. Crack width. Space between the ends of adjacent clay or concrete drain tile. Cross flow type. Continuous flow dryer wherein the flow of air is transverse to the direction of flow of the green being dried. Crumbles. Pelleted feed reduced to granular form. Cryogenics. The science of very low temperature phenomena and the effect of low temperature on the properties of matter. Cube. An agglomeration of unground ingredients in which some of the fibers are equal to or greater than the length of the minimum cross-sectional dimension of the agglomeration. Curing. A form of conditioning as opposed to simple drying in which a chemical change occurs. Such as in tobacco, sweet potatoes, etc. To prepare the crop for storage or use. Cyclone separator. A large, round, tank-like structure. Usually metal. Used to separate particles carried in an airstream. Hope it helps. Thank you again for listening. Please like. Subscribe and comment your suggestion on topics you want to hear. Links of previous topics are stated in the description box below. See you in the next part. Bye. Rar.